<laughs> well, well, well. All right, my homies. We are gonna kick some ass. Maybe. <clears throat> We're gonna finish Tutorial Island today. We've not got much to go. We've actually not got much to go. Uh, we're doing pretty well. We've done everything except... I think. The dragon. And... Uh, Brax's tower. Brax's tower? Brax's tower. Brax's tower? Yeah, it's here. So... That's what we're going to do. Let's, um... Yeah, my inventory's kind of a mess. Let's go back to Fort Joy. <clears throat> we're going to sell a bunch of stuff. Do, 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 do. Ah, you're back. Oh, it's so good you to look see like you. the moon. You look, you know who you look like? The moon. <laughs> the moon. You that all the time, don't you? Griff, you're crazy, man. You look like the moon. What's that even supposed to mean? Is it an insult? Is it a compliment? I think it's an insult. I got that special shipment he was asking after. I think it's an insult. Point, but I don't know how it could be an insult or a compliment. He just says we look like the moon. He's a very odd guy, is Griff. Right. <clears throat> what am I selling? I want to keep that Aerotherge hat. I want to keep that shitty wand. Do, 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 do. I'll keep the captain's hat. I'm never going to use it, but I'll keep it. Whew. I need to figure out Bracus's uh, ring as well. <clears throat> Sell all our junk. I'm gonna keep that sinew. I want to do some tests with it. Yeah, that's fine. Easy money. Look, we're loaded. I got that special shipment <clears throat> he was asking after. Got a... I don't think they have any new spell books for us. Hey, you're a little light in your no. pocket, mate. Who can blame you with the garbage they got? Why don't you take a gander at the. <clears throat> Shut up, Hildy. Right. Need something in the kitchen? Actually, we've got five. D did I. Did I kill those guys? <clears throat> did I kill the guys down on the beach? I guess I did. Okay. Right. Just trying to think if there's anything we haven't done. Pretty sure we've done... <clears throat> Everything apart from the tower. Pretty sure. Vaguely sure. Slightly certain. Yeah. 
Totally. You know what I do want to do? <clears throat> I've spotted something. Hey, I want to dig this up. Boom, and that's how we died. No? Nice. Let's see what's what. There's probably a key kicking about somewhere, but... I am the key. Yoink. I'm gonna have to go back to another vendor, aren't I? Ah, rippity doo da. Still, it is better to have shiz to sell than not to have anything at all. Um... I just did Griff. Hey lady, do you have any money? Nibora. She looks at you with wet eyes. Yeah, she's got cash. Before returning to her work. <clears throat> Trash. Trash. Okay. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Two hundred and ninety five gold. What a scumbag. That's a right Good shitty deal. Oh, right. What I actually want to do <clears throat> is start killing these shriekers. Now I know I could get the dragon to do it for me. But look, that ain't happening. We're killing the dragon. I sure hope there's less than eight seekers on the map. Shriekers on the map. I'm guessing that's one of those shriekers. Wait. path is clear. What do you mean give the Seekers the go-ahead? I didn't give them the go-ahead. Whew, I really didn't give them the go-ahead. Thank God. Quest log freaked me out. Goddamn lying quest log. Uh. 
I am without charges. <clears throat> Where's my other wand? Overly cautious here. I think that's the mall. <clears throat> right, Gareth and his goons better not actually come down. Totally worth it. Let's, um... Is there anything here? No. No cool secrets? No. We can go jump over here, though. Get this chest. Yoink! Trash ring. Trash hat. Trash wand. It's just what I always didn't want. Right. <clears throat> now. I can say with some confidence. I wonder what that rat does now. Here, look down those steps and tell me what you see. Look, rat. That's true, it is Those loot. Down the steps there are dangerous. The ones hanging on the sticks. How dangerous? On a schedule trying to put me. Go on, rat. I killed them all. I want to see what this rat does now. Run free, little rat. Look alive. The hammer should be with us shortly. Not like her to be late. Huh? Huh? Cool. Yeah, <laughs> right you out. Very good. <clears throat> right. We've got Brax's tower to do. And I want to do it legitimately. That's right, we're going to legitimately do the tower. I should really go and free Wither more before I do the tower. Yeah, let's go free Wither more, sod it. That is not where I need to be. <clears throat> Let's go free him. <sighs> oh, I need to tell the dog that his friend is dead. Ooh, medicine. Mm. Oh, hey, hey, 
The dog cries. When is she coming back? You don't know that. The dog wags. Emmy's not coming back. I killed her. Right. <clears throat> Now I have two options here. I can either give him his jar or I can not give him his jar and get double the XP. I do like the sound of double the XP. But if I give him his jar, he helps me out in the tower. Oh, Withermore, why'd you have to make life so hard? Good, sir. You've set my body free. Free to crumble to dust at last. Yeah, I've got your jar. You, you have? Oh, bless you. Bless you. Please, destroy it. Smash it. Crush it. Rend it to pieces. I'll help you escape this place in turn. Freedom for both of us. It's so close. He won't actually help us escape, but it'll help us get some extra loot. I think I'll just agree to destroy the jar. I am ready. By the gods. By the gods, I am ready to be free. All right, Withermore. <laughs> Sorry, kid. <clears throat> Wither? Wake up! Please! Hey, Dan. <clears throat> you love wasting the time of scammers. You wasted almost an hour of their time so far today. <clears throat> Maybe they wasted an hour of your time. Think about it. If time is money... <clears throat> You both paid the same price. <clears throat> right. Toughest tiger teeth. I know I've said this about seven times so far today, but this time I actually mean it. I think I did. <clears throat> We're going to go and solve this place. Legitimately. Helping others avoid getting scammed is never a waste of time. Um, It's one of those things, isn't it? Teach a man to fish and you... No, wait. <clears throat> Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. It's one of those. <clears throat> Waste a scammer's time. And you save one person from being scammed. Temporarily. But teach people about scammers. And you save them for a lifetime. It's one of those things. People need to accept responsibility for themselves. Otherwise, they get what they deserve. <clears throat> Give a man a fish, he's fed for a day. Teach a man to fish, you never see him again. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> right. Have you tried gardening? You know, I used to be a gardener. It was my first ever job, back when I was 16. <clears throat> back in my youth. The stone gargoyle trains glistening agate eyes upon you. Its jaws creak open, raining dust as it begins to speak. Oh, you meant in-game? Uh, no, I haven't. 
Not yet. You are not Bracus Rex. No, but I've got his ring. Welcome home, Master. Wow, he took that well. Wait, what? That teleported me all the way here. No, but I wanted to solve it legitimately. No! No! Look, game, you were right the first time. I'm not Bracus Rex. <clears throat> Do you reckon there's anything over here? No, I doubt it. Hey, Brian. Good to see you. Where am I going? I get lost here so often. Here. <clears throat> Do 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 do. <clears throat> do 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 do. Okay, Gargoyle, sorry about that whole I'm Bracus Rex thing. Right. Pretty sure that spawns a fireball. Oh no. Dee -dee -dee. Actually, let's do this the way it's meant to be done. The flames! Douse the flames! The fire, it Look burns, out. it I won't stop. Nearby. Right. So we've got two options. We can either go up here, which leads us into that room, or we can go down here, which leads us in here, and then we can go through there, which brings us up here. And then we can put something on there, which opens that, which brings us in here. Then we can put that on there, which gives us a single, single door. You started playing King Arthur's Night Tale yesterday. Yeah, I saw that. I kept getting Steam pop-ups during the stream saying, Patino is playing King Arthur's Night Tale. <clears throat> Pretty fun, kind of on the easy side, you had to move up to hard difficulty. I do know how you feel about hard difficulty. Must be pretty easy. That's alright though, nothing wrong with an easy game. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, that's how you get there, the legitimate way. Okay. So, we open this. His skulls crumble to dust after one use. Yeah, the they gargoyle do. stirs, the dust of millennia drifting from its pocked wings. 
Many have come this way. Few have survived. I invite you to join them. What, the ones who survived? I'll join them. Uh <clears throat> Careful now. That's a trap. Yeah, it sure is. Careful now. That's a trap. Careful now. That's a trap. That opens that for us. Yoink. Then, careful now, that's a trap. Careful now, that's a trap. Game, why would you do that? This game is so dumb sometimes. <sighs> I mean, it's fine. Don't understand the pathfinding in this game. You go walk around the trap and it goes, What's that? Walk into the trap. Can do. Every time. Careful. I've spotted a trap. Look out. I see a trap nearby. Yoink. <clears throat> right, so now I've that gets us through legitimately. Another skull crumbled to bits. Look at that. Easy. I guess there's another skull. Which we can use <clears throat> Well, first let's see what See what the guy has to say about us getting there legitimately. Hopefully he doesn't go, oh, you pretended to be Bracus Rex. Because I did make it here legitimately. No one can take that from me. Your inmates have long awaited your return, your highness. No! Welcome back. I mean, I'll take the XP. Fine. Fine, I don't care anyway. Right. <clears throat> Another skull. Do, 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 do. I don't think there's anything up here. Right. Let's open this door. There's two doors to this room. Does it matter which you pick? 
I don't think so. Another skull crumbled to bits. Dee 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 dee. More trash. Then. <clears throat> We're down to one skull, I think. Which we can use to open that door. I kinda wanna be, where is it? Where is it? I kinda wanna be in here. Am I able to get there? Yeah. Okay, good. <clears throat> Watch out, a trap! that little rat. Rat? This is the rat who can only tell the truth. We're going to cure him of that. You look lost. Also, you look all weird and it's a curse. Or possibly all the time. Do I look good? It's awful. I'll tell you everything. The rat gives you an... Except, I don't know anything at all. How? Yes. A short, sharp shock of something magical will untangle the wool in my head. I'm a rat. I don't have anything to give you. Don't know anything useful. Uh, oh, thank you. It closes. Right. That's why I kept this wand. A short, sharp shock. Come back, rat. Sharp shock I need, please. I hate you, rat. I gave it a sharp charge. Short, sharp shock. I gave it one. Okay, where's my Aerosurge hat? Or whatever it is. I kept something with Aerosurge. Didn't I? I'm sure I kept something that had plus air research. Wow, I've really screwed this up, eh? Shiza! That's really annoying. <sighs> okay, rat. Sorry. Uh, 
No, I didn't need to go through here. Just go through here. Right, then I'm the trap master, I'll trigger them all. Why am I dead? Look, sometimes triggering traps is just the right way to do things. Another skull <clears throat> to We can open that. Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. We can do one of those. I mean, do one of those. I mean, do one of those. I mean, that vase is too light. Look at that. Very cool. Yoink. Totally worth it. <clears throat> and that brings us out up here. Then, I wonder how you're supposed to do this though. Because you do that, that makes that appear. You'd have to open another door. So you'd be spending a skull to use a skull. You can't be supposed to do that. Unless that elven skeleton's got a skull. No. <clears throat> like, I know how we solve it, but I'm not sure how you're meant to solve it. So I don't think I've got any skulls left. Yeah. I guess you could... Be a bit sketchy, but you could... <clears throat> do... Do, 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 Probably goes against the rules. This gargoyle flares its lichenous nostrils as you draw near. Master would be impressed. Yeah. Then we can go back up. Opens that. Another skull crumbled to bits. Now this fool. We're gonna get into a fight here.
get rid of that oil barrel. I wonder if you can just cure him before it summons the guys. But the guys are pretty good XP. The only real concern is that he might die, so let's get rid of that as a concern. Come on, we're going to put him down here. Pretty sure you don't actually get anything for saving him, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Right. <clears throat> Let's kill the archer first, I think. Yeah. Adrenaline up. Where's supercharge? Did I unequip supercharge? No. Where is it? Am I just blind? Yeah. We'll probably get hit by an AoE, which is the depressing thing. But we might not. <clears throat> okay, we can't kill him this turn. I'm not going to be able to kill him again. Uh, maybe we can. <clears throat> no! Guys are the worst. Look at that.
Let's just hope he can hit him from there. Okay. They changed the turn order. That's so annoying, man. I guess it's because of clear minded. Yeah, that one's fair enough. Um, Prepare yourself. Hmm. Hmm. Do I have heal? I think I took heal off. I did take heal off. Shizer! I just want one of them dead. Look, he's close. Give me my free turn. Yoink. Nice. Not so nice. Thought that was real clever. Yoink. Never mind, let's not yoink him. Um Yeah, whatever. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<clears throat> I hate these guys. They can heal themselves so much, but we're gonna be in real trouble now, maybe. <clears throat> oh, you can only use that once per combat. He been saved by the smoke. Should be good. Nice. Smoke. I can't even jump through. Nice. <clears throat> right. Do they have any loot? Not really. Hey, Burning Man. Um... I don't have Hydrosophist. I don't think I have any Hydrosophist gear. Okay, that's fine. Um, I guess we need to make ourselves bleed another way. Which is really awkward, actually. Really, really awkward. <clears throat> because... Without having Hydrosophist... I can't do the rain rain blood and rain blood puts him out whereas if you just put blood underneath him and then bless it that uses up your source and then you have to use your source again to stop him dying so I need hydrosophist sad to say I need something with plus one hydrosophist What's depressing about that is I sold all my shit to random guys. Um, she looks at you with wet eyes and manages a wink before returning to her work. None 
of those. Good to see you. Probably Griff. I'm always selling stuff to Griff. I like that he says we look like the moon. Worse than what? Ah, you're back. Oh, it's so good to see you, mate. You look... You know who you look like? The moon. The moon. But you hear that all the time, don't you? What does he mean? Here's the goods. Like you wanted. Give it down, will you? You know what you look like? The moon. You're getting a pretty good deal here, Griff. That's not what I needed, but... Probably sold it to this guy, actually. He says indoors. 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 Ah, you're back. What could that be related to? Add some wheat to your rucksack? Griffin doors. Oh, I already, I already made a Gryffindor joke yesterday. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Interesting. I sold this shield to him ages ago because it was terrible. I'm pretty sure. Now it's really good. Hydra Sophist. I don't really want to pay 700 for it. Does he not have anything worse that does Hydra Sophist? No. Alright, random guy. I'll take your terrible armour at exorbitant prices. I'm sure I saw something here that needed identifying. There we go. He's got a decent amount of cash. Let's sell him some stuff. Deal. Right. <clears throat> nice. Now I can zap the rat and... do blood rain. <clears throat> the perfectish crime. The flames! Douse the flames! I will, but not yet. Where was that rat? He was down here. Right.
No, wait, I need bless. Um, let's get rid of adrenaline temporarily. One fried rat, yeah. He will be slightly charred. <clears throat> Where even is he? I swear he hides so well. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think they actually have to get the shop status. It's done brilliant. No, it... the rat gives ah! with a new bounce. You're welcome, rat. I don't actually get anything for doing that, but it feels pretty good. <clears throat> Now, you really don't get anything for saving this guy. The only reason I can think of for doing it is that he might come back later. I really can't see any reason to save him. I don't think you get XP. Look, I'm gonna save. No XP. How oh, long have I waited for this moment? A dry this. The figure mm, he did terrible things while trying to mask no I on earth knowledge of a great power within those texts. The figure's rule long destroyed, surely. But what would you have done in my place? Fought him? <laughs> what I found should stay hidden. For all of our sakes. Brackus must how? Good! What I to say it See? See? You don't get anything for it. You literally get nothing. What's the point in going through all that hassle? And it is a lot of hassle. To get literally nothing. It's bizarre. I don't understand that. I guess you get this portal. Actually, yeah, I take it all back. You get this portal. I take it all back. <clears throat> Although all you get is a crumbling skull that you really don't need. And you get a chest that's usually got terrible loot in it. Come on, terrible loot! That is all going to be terrible. <clears throat> that being said, I am actually going to equip that belt. I know I was just hating on it. But I'm equipping it anyway. Right. I think that's everything done out here that we can do. The flames will burn me forever. Another skull crumbled to bits. Let's go inside. <clears throat> now I am curious if you get more XP for killing these necromancers than you do for freeing them. I need not wonder. I always just free them. The As you enter the room, another the more you I and you a jailer then I the human you're not one the creature even after the maggots took your time the vile mag our souls destroying the but beware by the and thy oh. the fault was in thine z every the we have spent at least until your gorgeous worse than thou art for a time how's about a train trusting a here did I ever tell you of the time I cursed that court you one time you get XP for killing them. I know you get XP for destroying their jars. 
Uh, once you destroy all of their jars, you get XP. But I don't know if you get more XP for actually fighting them in combat. Yes. <clears throat> Kill them once, wait till they stand up, then destroy the jars. Shut up. You'll get XP twice. Kill them once, wait until they stand up, then destroy the jars. Ew, did I ever tell you of the time I cursed that court you? Court eunuch to speak only truth and he admitted pleasing Bacchus's mistress. Yes, you did. I'm trying to decipher that. Do you mean uh, start combat and then destroy the jars? The Bacchus asked me to cast the dance macabre. Yes, I recall. If they At win the, the initiative roll, yes. then we're dead. You don't but mean what that. About... Yes. <clears throat> and Please, shut up. Start come back and kill them once. Oh, do they come back to life? Did I ever tell once you, you kill the them. I cursed that court, you... court eunuch to speak only truth and he admitted pleasing Bacchus's mistress. Yes, you did. Ah. Okay. How about the time Bracchus asked me to cast? The Here's hoping we win the initiative yes. roll. Oh, we did. Then I'll be lying to me, Dominic. Nah, 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 you don't summon before combat. If you summon before combat, they get to go first. You start combat and then you summon, and then your summons get to go directly after you. You'd have to be crazy to summon before combat. Oh, I got rid of adrenaline. Oh. There is no god. These guys aren't even tough. <laughs> Why does he get to summon two people at once? I'm not accusing the game of cheating, but it was him who summoned both of those, right? That's against the rules.
to be a totem before the fight. No, 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 no. You don't summon anything before the fight. You're talking madness, Dominic. Madness. Oh shit, he hits hard. <clears throat> Hardly worth my time. You know, it's times like these I wish I hadn't used all my abilities. Um, look, game. You should let me hide behind that corner. However, based on the logic of this game, I should be able to go there and he shouldn't be able to attack me, right? I feel like that's true. I mean, he will, but that's fine. Never mind, he's dead anyway. On you stupid corpse. Do it quick. Ah, oh, you scumbag. Oh no, that's fine. I guess that summon did belong to her. Right, are they really gonna come back? Look, Dominic, I'm not being funny, but... Never mind. I, I've killed you twice now. No, I haven't. I've killed them once. What's he talking Canst about? thou not see? The soul jars bind us here. Why are you still here? You have a... The skeleton... Brackus, she... She murdered... This island... You didn't... The results... He was... Con he took that surprisingly well. Alright, I'll trash your soul jars. I mean, 
I feel like you'd be better off if I just gave you them, right? Tamsin? Come and sit down. Play cards. Look, there's your soldier. There's yours. There's yours. Question. Can I just kill them again? Or do I not get XP twice? Crumbled to nothing centuries before. You can just say go fish, you know? Tamsin, come and sit down. What are you doing? Come and play cards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can just say go fish, you know. She's not up for it. My turn of fate, young one. Oh, tiny death. Farewell to flesh. Farewell to bone. Farewell. How oh, beautiful. Thank you. My nice. death wait. That was a good call, Dominic. I shouldn't have doubted you. <clears throat> right, let's try not to die this time in here. <laughs> yeah, I'll take some raw mutton. <clears throat> Sometimes these piles do have stuff in them. Arguably not often enough to make it worthwhile. But whatever. Illusions, Bracus Rex, Soul Jars. Oh, that's talking about, um, what's it called? That one place. Tromp Doy's house. Painting of a man. Mm. He sure is a man. Trash. Trash. Probably trash. I've just come to accept it now. That we're never going to find good equipment. Yoink. I wonder what that lever does. <clears throat> Silen Aronson. Hey, look at that guy. And you thought Rivalon was flat. Isn't... 
I wonder what that lever does. I have that. Something seemed to move into place. Who knows? Oh, it opens this gate. That's pointless, isn't it? Lucky find. Right, this zombie is actually pretty tough. Let's not underestimate the zombie. Sure wish I knew what mind maggots were for. I've got two jars of them now. Two-headed ogre. Look at that. Getting attacked by butterflies. Oh, zombie. I would like to challenge you to fisticuffs. That's right, stand there. Poor bastard. Most well thought out surprise trap ever. <laughs> dee 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 dee. Duke Stephen Chung Kuei. Cool. Lady Shelbia Moladina and Sir Buckington. Okay. Right. Thank you. The heavy Terrible gloves. Cold to the top. Flickers of the memory. I see you. I show you must fight. As the heat away. I would require a fire rune to open the true path. I'm not entirely sure what that means. <clears throat> but I think we have to wait. Right. Among the long crumble. Among the long crumble. Oh, is that the other rat? This is the rat who can only lie. 
You don't look lost at all. Sarcastic, me not at all. And I do. The rat gives you a desperate... The rat opens its mouth to speak. The rat tries to... This is... This is... This is... The rat makes a face that says... The rat gives you a... I don't think the... I can categorically... And I do not invite you to look at the subtext in what I just said. Hey, look. Magic would kill it. Gently wish the rat a long and happy life, then turn away. No, the I'll do it. <clears throat> God, imagine if I hadn't destroyed those traps and the rat ran into them and it killed me. Can you imagine that? I can imagine that. I would have actually quit the game at that point. You still don't look lost. He looks at you as if to say, well, duh. Look, I gave him a short, sharp shock. What more does he want? Hello, Badger. I gave him his shock. You still don't look lost. He looks at you as if to... Did he say a sharp shock would cure him, or a sharp shock definitely would not cure him? Because he can only lie, right? Maybe he doesn't need a sharp shock. Maybe he needs something else. Because I definitely just shocked him. Maybe he needs something else. I'm just going to shock him again. <clears throat> Sorry, rat. I did my best. Right, let's get all five items. The well is now you see that we thank you for the water. We are horror the rock and we thank you the We thank you for the water. Sweet sleep with that path laden with a We thank you for the water. The well is now filled to the... You see that... We thank you for the water. A horror the king. Rock and sweet. We thank you for the... Spare us all. Sweet. We thank you. We pass. Laden with a... We thank you. We thank you. The well is now filled. You see the tank. We thank you for the water. A horror. The king. Wrath and so We thank you for the water. The fet spare. Sweet. We thank you again. Pass. Laden with a. Dee 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 dee. Hey. The well is now filled. You see that. We thank you for the water. A horror. The king. Wrath. We thank you for the water. The fet spare us. Sweet sit we thank you. Pass laden with a bur mm -hmm. The well is now filled to the brim with you see the tangle We thank you for the water. A horror the king. Wrath and terror and so we entangle that we thank you for Laden with a bird. 
We thank you for the water. <clears throat> I thank them for all these probably shitty items. <clears throat> shitty. 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 Plus one summoning. I'll take it. We thank you for the water. <clears throat> right, where's our real hat? You're not my real hat. What hat did I used to wear? Oh, the Mask of Strength, even though it's garbage. <clears throat> I'd wear that, but I'm not going to. I sure wish those items we got were a bit better. But, we're up to 13 summoning. That's not bad. We thank you for the summoning. All we've got left is this, which Withermore is going to help us to do. You have done me a great service. Now, allow me to help you. The source barrier, it shall be done then. Thanks, Withermore. We thank you for the help. <coughs> Chain lightning. That's all the pieces of the tyrant set. We thank you for the tyrant set. I bet this is all trash. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Lucky Charm's pretty good, you know. I always don't even consider taking it, but it's pretty good. I'll probably invest some points into it later. <clears throat> I'm always after their lucky charms. Right, I think we're done with the tower. I need to figure out what to do with this ring. If I equip it, it's going to curse me, and then it's going to go, bah ha 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 ha, you cursed yourself. You better give the ring to someone else. But I don't know who to give it to. Which is a shame, because it's a quest, and I'd probably get XP for figuring it out. I feel like there's a fifth part to this set. The boots. I also don't think I want to wear this set. It's pretty trash. Yeah. Right. We are done here. 
Which means all we've got left is Alexander and the dragon. And killing everyone. But mostly Alexander and the dragon. He looks up from his work and grins. Grin away, fool. Identify my stuff. Trash. Trash. Oh, Lord Jesus, I don't ask for much in life. If you could see your way to making this unidentified chest armor have plus two summoning on it, I promise I will believe in you for at least the next week. Amen. Come on, Jesus, do me a solid. Jesus, go to hell. God damn it. More trash. Well, we can take this guy's money. We thank you for the trash. I should probably sell the Tyrant set. It's just not very good. But I'm keeping it. Oh shit, I almost gave him all that for free. I like to look through their gear every so often because it does change sometimes. <clears throat> help you? Help you? No, no. Help you. Right. Let's, um... I really want to do that Band of Brachus quest. I just don't want to risk not figuring it out and being cursed for the rest of the game. That would really suck. Um, I'm going to save. I'm going to equip the ring. You are the real hero here, son. I did my best. The ring just got tighter. A lot tighter. You have my admiration. Yeah. Stop fidgeting, right. The ring's gone, but not its curse. Right. I must find a new host. What could it mean? Hey, do you want a ring? You're in luck, sorcerer. Gareth's back. Maybe it means and he's sell going it. To get us out of here, all of us. Maybe it means sell it. That's the only thing I can think of. Do I want a hint? Yes. Mattis rests upon the stool, humming a low song. 
He nods at you and continues humming. Let's see what Dominic's definition of a hint is. What word do you bring? Wow. As you wish. That is the least subtle hint I've ever heard. <clears throat> Sorry, English is not your first language. <laughs> That's okay, man. You don't need to make excuses. It's fine. If that is what you've got to do, I would never have figured it out, because... <clears throat> the game doesn't even imply that's what you're meant to do. Maybe you were lying. Were you lying? Bloody ring. It's loose. Get off me and stay off. That can't be the solution. Because it says... The ring's curse was lifted, I'd best not wear it again. Look, it says I must find it a new host. It doesn't say I must bless myself. There must be another solution. Get someone else to wear the ring. I didn't get someone else to wear the ring. There must be another solution to that quest. That's not, that's not the correct solution. I'm gonna try selling it. Although that won't make them wear it. I'm trying to think. No. If anyone's been like, oh boy, I sure wish I had a ring. The only person I can think of is that squirrel who's like, I love shinies. So I'm going to try that. Where are you, squirrel who loves shinies? You should be here. Here? Here? Equip the ring. Drop it next to the squirrel who loves shinies. He'll pick it up, golem style. Hope you find shinies. So, the ring just got tighter, a lot tighter. Something isn't right. The ring's gone, but not its curse. <clears throat> Get someone else to wear the ring. Shiny. Screw you, squirrel. Lucky find. Lucky find, he says as he picks up the cursed ring. 
Okay, fine. Hmm. I'm going to resort to Google. Bracus ring. Get someone else to wear it. I just don't believe that's the real solution. <laughs> that can't be the real solution. Maybe it is the real solution. That's pretty whack. Fine. I'm right about giving it away. I thought I was. I just don't know who I'd give it away to. Normally to another team member. Yeah. That's fine. It's fine. There should be an NPC that you can uh, give it to. really disappointed by that quest. I thought it was going to give me a chance to screw someone over. Bloody ring. It's loose. Get off me and stay off. The ring just got tighter. A lot tighter. You don't even get any XP for it. Bloody ring. It's loose. Bloody ring. It's loose. Right. <clears throat> That's fine. Okay. Next up. Hey, Will. Next up is Wipeout Fort Joy. I mean, I guess I could give it to... If and Ben Mezd. <clears throat> now, for wiping these guys out, I have a very particular order. It's not strictly true, but I have a vague order. So that I can grift as much money from them as possible. <clears throat> Griffin, these lads won't know what it is. I never thought I'd see old dear not fit as a fox again. Haven't seen a man closer to the hole in all my days. A right miracle it is. Maybe I ought to study a bit of magic myself. Once I'm out of here, that is. Um. Oop. Perfect. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. I'm being a fool. I'm being an idiot. Ignore that. Can I get three more? Medicine. What a shame. All you need is a strong constitution. Three more gold. Gods will take care of the rest. <clears throat> Look, she can keep her three gold, I guess. 
<clears throat> Actually, I'm giving up on the toy wooden block. I know, I know. It's shocking. <clears throat> Worms take you. Worms take you. Who's next? Why is Ifen Ben Mez the only green one of these guys? I'll explain what I mean. What's he talking about? Care for those seeds, my friend. The powerful foster life. Yeah, I would. I would be careful with those seeds. Look, I'll take maybe one of your skill books. I'll take fortify because I do actually want that. You'll pay for this. out on the gently lapping waves she seems totally at peace but as you approach she turns to you with a cheerful smile I'll take that haven't seen you around here before well most certainly Sod off, Margot. Easy enough. <laughs> I like how he shits himself. <sighs> it's all about the resurrection scrolls. It's very important. someone and it ain't you sod off mm -hmm. Ooh. All right Naren be like that Get over here. <laughs> Yoink, six hundred XP for that guy. Pretty good. Did that in the early game. Look at all the extra stuff he's got that he won't sell you. Scepter. I always kill you. But you can live for now. I haven't decided. 
<clears throat> right, which other easy shopkeepers are there? Um, or more accurately, isolated shopkeepers. It's all about the isolation. Um, these guys, I guess. The soldier stands to attention. Attention. Gonna get much of his funds. Do you reckon he'll always drop the purging ones? Because they're like vaguely questish items. I guess we'll see. I don't really need to micromanage the money. We've got loads of it. It's just I'd like to have even more. Yeah, that's fine. Kalius, I'm sorry. Ended the demon's turn. Look, I don't actually want to kill you guys yet. Calm down. Well, he's got nothing worthwhile. She's got nothing worthwhile. So I guess that worked out okay. Um, I can't abide this, he says, whilst abiding it. <clears throat> oh, Elodie, I didn't check you. Pretty sure she doesn't sell anything. I 
could have looted all that stuff. Yoink, I'll take her on. Where's the arm in it? Um, I already checked those crates. Boo. <clears throat> Right, next up is Griff and Co. I want to see if this lady's got anything. Leave me. <coughs> Go. No. But I'll take Shackles of Pain. Hey, they sell pretty well. <clears throat> Who are the other vendors? I want to leave Griff to last, probably. Where's the oil? She looks at you with wet eyes and manages a wink before returning. Has she got to anything I care about? Almost certainly not. No. I guess I'll take... I don't know. Um... Rallying Cry? Sure. I could just take the gold. I'm just taking the gold. Good to see you. <clears throat> okay, Nabora, don't take this personally. Run, Nabora, run! Nobody's helping you. Meet your maker. Yoink. Um, I'll take my broken source collar. I don't think I care about any of the rest. But I'll check these crates, because we might get a lucky find. We didn't, but we could have. 
<clears throat> trying to think what the shopkeepers there are. An odd looking young woman is staring in her head, snaps light. Hi, who are you? I'm Losa. Please, I've given a few shows around. I'm sure. Sod off, Losa. The divine, even in death, he's listened. Adore. Did you see them, sir? Bishop Alexander and the hammer herself. They, they, they it was ages so ago, Vissa. Within arms, a traitor cannot be murdered. Easy to avoid. That was ages ago. Please. Oh, Ermes, I'm sorry. Last this place. Yes. She's so she ought to come. You are an. There's really no point to that, is there? <laughs> I'm pretty sure neither of these three guys are merchants. But I'm going to check. Not real merchants. I hope you're behaving yourself, Freshy. Yeah, they're not. <clears throat> Don't call me Freshy. You. <clears throat> Ten bottles of mead. Myra a shopkeeper? I don't think she is. The woman is scrabbling at her throat as though she can hardly no. breathe. <clears throat> but that one guy is, and he might aggro here. Void woken, not attracted to source. But why? The lizard's brow knits together, then apart, and back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts and doesn't look up as you approach. Mm. I'll take restoration and. If only those bleeding dwarves didn't eat so much. Armor of Frost. He thinks I'm great. <clears throat> Hopefully this doesn't piss Griffin Co off. I don't think it will. You bastard. Oh my god, I'm the worst. Just Laszlo, that's fine. <clears throat> I want his loot anyway.
Myra? It's none of your business, Myra. Stay out of it. Let's get Laszlo's really good loot. See? It's a really good loot. Um, I guess I'll kill these fools. Emma ain't coming back. She's gone, Farah. Gone. <laughs> um, I don't mind any of those getting involved. That's fine. Ten bottles of mead. Hello, sir. What are you doing getting involved? Who's that? Burrow? Hello, sir. I don't want to kill you yet. You're a godwoken, I think. I have a relatively strict no killing Godwoken policy. So just give it up. <coughs> She's gonna get herself killed by my turrets. Damn it, Losa. Oh, I could have chickened it. <clears throat> nice. I 
and maintaining my strict no-killing Godwoken policy. Send combat. <clears throat> right. Let's go up here. <clears throat> now I know we don't get much out of doing this, but we do get the satisfaction of leaving Fort Joy empty. We're not going to teleport Gowan yet. We're close. Go! Get out! You are not welcome here! Go, man pig! Yeah, yeah. Go, man pig. Yoink. <clears throat> I wonder why she's got a special pouch. That's something I've never figured out. Maybe she's part of a... Uh, like one of the other Origins quests. Otherwise I don't understand why she's got a special pouch. <clears throat> Lucky find. Kid. You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and <clears throat> So the next question is Do we kill Alexander before we try the dragon? Maybe. <clears throat> I think the only guys we've left alive are, well, Burrow. Burrow and Kana. I don't think they'll get help from anyone else. No. <clears throat> and Ifan Ben Mezd will help out. Not that we need it, but... It's the thought that counts. Right. 
I think, apart from Godwoken, there's no one else alive apart from Griff's gang and these two jerks. I only mean that if you think about it logically, she's much better off. Leave it. Should be happy for Groot. Oh look, they're teaming up. <clears throat> Normally, Baldir would kill Sam. Thanks to me. I'll yield to none. They're gonna team up. They died as friends. <clears throat> Steal his wife's teeth, why not? <clears throat> right, I really do think it's only Griffin Co left. I'm gonna let Buddy survive. Hey, I heard about you. Had a... Don't get too chuffed now. Long way to go yet. Did you speak to the burnished one? No. Well, I did, but I spoke to him using a language of violence. He turns the card over. Got your hands on my sparkler. Sure. Have a look. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. He's going to give me that overpriced Drudene when I kill him. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves <clears throat> didn't mean so much. He's also going to keep being anti dwarf. Hey! Well, ain't you Her thoughts trail off to muttering. She waves you away. Watch your hands, Pipsbok. What are you loitering around here for? Mm -hmm. I don't think any of these have anything that I care about. I think the easiest way to make money off them is going to be trading resurrection scrolls to Griff. Ah, you're back. Oh, it's so good to see you, mate. You look, you know who you look like. You can have all my other crap that I've picked up as well. Maybe we can absolutely fleece him. Magister now I know it's you not really worth name, it. Yeah? Got it. I'm gonna keep Irma's doll actually. Okay, Griff can keep thirty-five gold. 
Okay, Griff, time to kill you and your friends. I'd like to not aggro butter. I don't know if that's going to be possible. It might be possible. If I get my demon to attack Griff, but I don't attack Griff. I shouldn't lose any rep, right? Think about it. As far as he knows, it's just a random demon. Oh, Griff. I am fit for beasts. I can have her help me. <clears throat> what, help me kill Griff? Really? Doesn't seem keen. Must have been an earlier dialogue option that I've missed. <clears throat> Move along. your game she's quite keen yeah well you look at that I don't know Griff, will you yeah look I didn't lose any rep <clears throat> yeah but I don't actually want her to die so I want to kill everyone except her question where did Griff go Oh, he went invisible. <clears throat> um, yeah, question. If I kill these guys and I'm not in combat, do you reckon I get the XP? Because I'm not in combat. I'm chilling over there. <clears throat> do you reckon I get the XP for this? Let's find out. Damn it, she lived. She lived! What a scumbag. live again. What did she just eat? She must have had a hell of a good potion. Come on, Griff. <clears throat> Poor naive Griff. Right, let's see. <clears throat> I'm at 3600. <clears throat> exactly halfway through a level. Hey, look, I do get the XP. Well, 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 isn't that interesting? <clears throat> you 
Yeah, that's really nice. That means I can straight up gank folk, <clears throat> not lose any reputation, and get the XP. That's really cool. Damn it, she's got healing potions for days. Healing potions that I could have sold, I might add. Got no beef with you. Oh well. <clears throat> Hello there, Butter. See, look, she thinks I'm great. Cool. Drudenay. Take his hand. Take his panties. <clears throat> that Drudenay is going to help a lot. So those extra resurrection scrolls. Leave me, eh? Do 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 do. Should have probably killed him first, to be honest. Look, do you want many resurrection scrolls and some overpriced Drudenay? Careful! <clears throat> Don't want to catch Griff in a bad mood. Yeah, you're not wrong. Minimize the game. Whoops. Oh, thank you. The older overpriced Judene plus resurrection scrolls is such a great trick. It's a really, really good trick for like 
nailing people's inventories. Ugh, sorry, demon. Drew, Drew, Danae, do, 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 <clears throat> Right, who's next on the kill list? <clears throat> Probably... That one guy? Probably that one guy. Pretty sure I've killed everyone in Fort Joy now. <clears throat> Except the animals. Yeah. So <clears throat> next up is <coughs> not these guys, I think. Although it probably should be these guys. Next up is what's his name? This guy here. Zalaskar. Who's pretty tough. He is pretty tough. He's level 8. Ah, you're back. Looking to add some weight to your rucksack? Yeah. I am looking to add some weight to my rucksack. Let's see if he's got... This stuff's all going to be really expensive. That's not a good idea. I don't think he's got anything I care about. This is all just junk that I sold him. The only thing maybe is that shield, which is pretty good. For a shitty shield, it's not bad. not bad at all for a shitty shield. I'll be right back and then I might trade him for that shield. Because I don't really care about the perseverance. I don't really care about the single-handed. 5% dodging is quite nice, but realistically, when do we get hit? Never. But I'll be right back. I need a drink.
Right. I'll take that shield, sod it. You're getting a good deal out of this, Zalaskar. <clears throat> this is definitely not a shitty deal. <clears throat> My main concern <clears throat> is that killing Zalaskar is actually going to be pretty tough. <clears throat> it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at all. But I do think I beat him on initiative. This time I am going to open with my summon, just because if we lose on initiative, <clears throat> I want him to attack my summon instead. Okay, we win initiative, that means we're probably okay. Maybe. I mean, once we get rid of his armor, we can chicken him. So we're not in that bad a situation, really. Except the fact he's going to have a million potions. You know what? If he's not going to attack... <clears throat> that does work out pretty well for us. He's almost chickenable. He's chickenable. He doesn't actually do that much damage. Okay, his teleport does. His teleport does a lot of damage. <clears throat> uh, fortunately, now we can do one of these. <clears throat> now he's pretty boned. what our best option is here. Maybe just to melee him, you know? Summon a totem and then melee him. Fine, then he's gonna get up, then we get another turn. We'll chicken him on our next turn.
What was I even worried about? Who knows? <clears throat> oh yeah, I get his heart. I don't know what to do with his heart. I can eat it, I think. I'm not sure if eating it does anything for me. But I also get the crossbow without a string. And then I was curious, so we can we can we can craft a crossbow. But I was curious about something. Um, we take the crossbow without a string. Where is it? There it is. Because look, I've got bowstring, which I think is what I used last time. But I've also got sinew, which should be stronger. So maybe that will make a better crossbow. Well, it should have. Right. Then I'm going to save and I'm going to we're going to go through our eating. We're going to eat everything that we've got. But I don't know if I'm supposed to eat his heart. That's why I'm saving. So I'm not going to start the game again just because I ate his heart. Why did I turn into a human? You probably are supposed to eat his heart. Or maybe you're supposed to craft something with it. I just want to see what we get. We'll eat everything else first. You eat Griff's hand, and you seem... Mm-mm, Griff's hand. You see so much. Mm-mm, it's a healer's arm. Right. <clears throat> I think I can eat the heart. Let's find out what it does. Zaliskar's shriveled heart is tough to chew. The stringy meat is so vilely bitter, it brings tears to your eyes. You see him sitting beside a campfire in the night, whispering as in response to an unseen voice. You will return, yes. The Lord of Lords will return. Yours is the covenant. The covenant, my sworn salvation. That's cool and all. But it doesn't give me a quest update. But I think he might be part of, like, a special quest. Was I seriously still wearing the Mask of Strength? We need a better helmet. This is getting embarrassing. Right. So now, the only people left alive on the map are Alexander and his goons. And these chuckleheads. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure what's going to happen here, so... Because I've already got rid of the, sh the Shriekers, right? So, I'm not sure what's going to happen. What word do you bring? I found a wand. I had no doubt. You bring me hope, sorcerer. I'll gather the other seekers and travel to shore. Gareth's voice echo. We move, seekers. No I'm not convinced he's going here. I want him to go here, but I'm not convinced that he is. Oh, he did. Cool. Pray. 
praise be. You have silenced the Shriekers and cleared our way. You have any more miracles in you? We've got a boat ready to row, so we split up. I take... Are you ready? We've got right on our side. He sighs and points... Ha! <laughs> You've kicked... Yeah, I need more time to prepare. Hey, Rain. Last time you saw me in this area, I died soon after. Look, that's not gonna happen. Little bear gives 450 XP. It sure does. And you can manipulate the little bear. <clears throat> so that it kills itself. <clears throat> so when you talk to the little bear, it goes to its uh, mother's corpse. So you could teleport the mother's corpse into a shrieker's line of sight, and the bear would walk over to the shrieker and kill itself. The perfect crime. Not that I would do that, but you could do it. Right, let's uh go back here. We left a few stragglers behind. <clears throat> I'm not gonna die here, Rain. Not a chance. Hey, Leia. The others have gone to get us a ship out of here. Hurry on, they'll need you. Yeah, I don't think they do need me. is surely a monster. No, I'm not. <clears throat> Quite the opposite. Haven't you heard? I'm the chosen of the gods. There's no accounting for taste. Lucky find. Did any merchants stay here? Feeder. Is it feeder or fader? Amadia's blessing be upon you. How can I help you? How can you help me? That is an excellent question. Oh look, she's got my Hydrosophist ring. I think I'd rather have plus 3% dodging than plus 1. Did I get any summon items? Uh, three of them. We've got plus 3 to our summoning at the moment. <clears throat> Which I'm not massively happy about, but... It's all we got. Here, do you want Griff's overpriced Drudene? I know you do. And I'll take... I'll take those boots, sod it. I don't think she's got anything actually useful. Actually, I'll take that axe, because I am actually going to use it. <clears throat> Look, I've got two broken source collars. I'm living the dream. Getting a good deal here, feeder. Bye now. Apart from, you know, the whole death situation. 
But if you ignore that, you're getting a pretty good deal. Thank you. Hey look, I got my Hydra Office ring back. And some unidentified gloves. Could it be? Could it be some plus summon gloves? The answer to that is probably no. Lucky find? <clears throat> Surely we'll get at least one lucky find out of all these. Garbage. Yeah. That's not a lucky find. Um... <coughs> if you keep if you keep uh, Griffin Co alive <clears throat> do they help you out in that one fight on the ship don't get me wrong I'm not keeping them alive I'm just curious Because <clears throat> you'd think they would, right? Otherwise, I don't see what the benefit is to helping them. Yeah, uh, not Griff. Not Griff. Gareth. Gareth's back. Gareth and co. They say they're going to go on the ship. So presumably they do go on the ship, and then doubly presumably they um, help out in that fight, the malady fight. Otherwise, what are they doing with themselves? Gareth's one of the main characters of the game. Well, not in my game he's not. He's just a source of XP along the way. Right, let's go kill this Magister, the sneaky Magister. It isn't that one guy. Oh, shit. I figured it was only a matter of that's not for me to say. If you must kill me, then kill me. Look, I'm greater than Alexander and Dallas. I, I, I'm no warrior. Oh, they deserve their fate. Dallas makes them silent, obedient. If I must die, then I die with a clear conscience. I serve only the Divine and his son. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> oh, I can't teleport him onto the mines. Ooh, maybe I can if I go here. No. <sighs> you win this round, kind of.
Also, I'm not sure what Rain was talking about. I'm pretty sure I've never died when I've been at this spot. <clears throat> not that I remember all my deaths, but I'm pretty sure I haven't died near this part. Have I? Maybe I have. Maybe I was the real one who didn't know what they were talking about. Right. Which of these shopkeepers is dying first? Simone? Did you see what those magisters did? Yeah, I saw. Putting our I dead saw. on display like... Like hunting trophies. Yeah, I saw Simone. Now give me your books. Enjoy the Druidene. Oh my god, I'm fighting a giant demon. I think I'm gonna die. I know what'll save me. Some apple juice. It was a nice try, Simone. But I could have sold that apple juice. <clears throat> you who, Duggan? I pray this goes well. I'd hate to think what'd come of Leia if we don't pull this off. Don't worry about it, Duggan. <clears throat> Leia's in a better place. The XP for these guys is so great. It's really, really nice. Haha! <laughs> A smashing blouse! <clears throat> A smashing blouse! That's really good. That's a smashing blouse you have on. Hello, Martin! <clears throat> If you don't know what the smashing blouse may be a reference to, I feel bad for you. <clears throat> He's trying to trick me into walking down there so they run down like a madman. It's not going to happen. Both magisters, I 
are going to regret if they ever laid eyes on us. Totally Cloud. Totally. My name's not Cloud, it's Claude. Alright, Cloud. Safety first. Ah, <sighs> oh, here is Pam. No justice in the world. Yoink. We might actually level off all these fools. It's unlikely, but we might. Cloud. You know, the only reason I get to kill these guys is because I uh, saved their lives. Is that why he's so cool about this whole thing? Cloud! Wow, he does not give two shits. Come here. Fight me. Fight me, Cloud. Fight me. Fight me. <laughs> he won't fight me. Go hard on him. Did you seriously not summon him? Go, go, go. more effort than it should have been. He wasn't even worth that much XP. <sighs> Samadale, you're next. <clears throat> so many seekers lost. And more blood you're a shopkeeper. Before long. Do you want some resurrection at scrolls? Least is safe at the shelter. Do you want some overpriced Drudenay? We're making an absolute killing off this. I 
I'm not even selling any of our good stuff. Look, I'm a real stickler for getting everything I can off these fools. I think I've reached my limit of stuff I'm willing to sell. That's fine. Keep your 17 gold. I mean, I'll give you 12 gold. <clears throat> Come on, Samadale. You're such a jerk. Samadale took the orange. It was a long con. <clears throat> Kerbin stares at the body of his dead comrade, tightly gripping his weapon in a cold fury. Magisters, I'll kill everyone that I see slowly. All right, Kerbin. Hey, he's got loads of stuff. <clears throat> None of it's any good. It's all trash that I gave him. But, uh... Even so. Oh yeah, I got those gloves I wanted to identify. Kerbin, before you die... I can't believe I'm still wearing the gloves of teleportation. putting in good work though. There's no denying that. They are putting in good work. I really want that plus two initiative. Hmm. Kerbin, you've given me a lot to think about. I need two air a third. Or is it one Aerithurge for teleport? I'm not actually sure. I do know that I don't have the book. Which is very interesting. Oh, it's because Gawain has the books, right? I'm pretty sure Gawain has the books. The Aerithurge ones. Kerbin stares at the body of his dead comrade, tightly gripping <clears> his <throat> weapon in a cold fury. I don't think anyone here has Aerithurge. Magister. Do they? Exter, do you have Aerithurge? If I were you, I'd stay close to Sir Gareth once the fighting begins. Whatever path he takes will be the surest way to victory. Mm hmm. Plus one summoning. All oh, right, finesse. He doesn't have Aerothurge. Does the lady have Aerothurge? As you approach, Gratia. It would be a sweet joy to see the Magisters chased from this land. But I fear Aha. all I will see today. Requires Aerothurge too. Dreken Gratiana's allied with those other two. 
had them. No, no, Gawain's still alive. I don't think she's going to be allied with the other two, you know. And the reason I say that is because she's like an evil skeleton. Hiding behind a mask. Okay, well, we'll get it in due time. It's good to know that she's got it. <clears throat> Turban stares at the body of his dead comrade. I know, Turban. Oop, no, you're not getting field. my gold. Do you want some resurrection scrolls? They called me a madman for collecting resurrection scrolls, but look how good they are. She is evil! She's definitively evil! Just because she says she's changed, she is definitively evil. Oh shit, I'm giving him way too much stuff. Or am I? She's actually definitively evil. Why do I think she's still evil? Um, because of the way she speaks to you. When she, uh, when she has her, when she knows you've got a soul jar but you won't give her it. You can see the evil coming out in her. Oh, I was going to equip that. Look, I don't care about Withermore's girdle, I'm going to be honest. <clears throat> Is that a good trade? Arguably not. Magisters. Magisters, I'll kill everyone I see. <clears throat> you get that, but you think it's a natural reaction. That's understandable. I do understand where she's coming from. I just think where she's coming from is pretty evil. Right, let's kill him. I'm not actually sure we can get this guy without aggro and the others. But we'll do our best. Let's try some Indevious. We just want him dead, right? Well, yeah, heal jewels, go on. I'm not sure we'll survive long enough to take this guy out. 
we're going to give it a try. Oh my god, who healed him for so much? Ah! <laughs> I just saw that portrait and I was like, hey, he's got the same portrait as that guy. That guy we were helping. What's his name? Gareth. And then I was like, wait a minute. That is Gareth. gonna survive he's maybe gonna survive he didn't survive go on guys kick his ass kick his ass Stellar use of the water balloon there. <clears throat> hey guys, I hear a demon attacked you. Shame I wasn't here to help out, eh? Hey. Halon's blade, blade any good? No. <clears throat> Jules, you're next. It's a good thing my injuries have healed. I wouldn't want to miss my chance to avenge our fallen. Totally. You know, this time through I only saw one toy block. Very upsetting. Jules. Oh, he's one who's just going to take it. Stop moving, Jules. I sure hope I got the XP for that. Should have done. <clears throat> Who's the easiest to kill out of these? Probably Gratianix. He goes invisible. As you approach, Gratiana turns to you. Her moves are lighter now. Her voice is warmer, but still tempered by the scene around her. Mm. There has to be something you can do with Mind Maggots. I'm going to keep them. <clears throat> 
It would be a sweet joy. Hmm. <clears throat> you know, if I'd let the Shriekers live, I could have probably just teleported them all into the Shriekers. You craft scrolls and grenades. Yeah, I know. But, uh... Is that all the mind maggots are for? Because if they are, I'm going to sell them. I don't believe in scrolls and grenades. Just like I don't believe in potions. Good looking, Karnat. I believe in the memory stat. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> it's one of the few stats I do believe in. <clears throat> Using skulls later on, you barely need any memory. Yeah, I know, but I still don't care for it. <laughs> I still don't care for it. Oh, she lived. Come on, do a phoenix jump. No? Yeah! Scratiana, you fool! What happened over here? Don't mind me and my completely unrelated demon. Did I seriously just get another plus one summoning fancy necklace? Oh no, it's a glowing amulet. I'll use it. Very disappointing, but I'll use it. If hey, I were Exeter. You, I'd stay close to Sir Gareth. Ah, uh, you won't identify stuff. Well, Gareth identify stuff. Tell me it's time. My sword's at the ready. Thank you, Gareth. <clears throat> Please be a good shield. Please be a good shield. That's all I ask. Plus four initiative. I'll take the hit for plus four initiative. Gareth, I'm killing you last. He sighs and points a foot towards the harbour. Ha! <laughs> You've kicked up a storm. I can't contain it for long, my friend. All right, Gareth. If I were you, I'd stay close to Sir Gareth once the fighting begins. Whatever path he takes will be the surest way to victory. Anna, I'm gonna be honest, I don't get your joke. Sorry, mind maggots. Will convince me they're useless. Sounds like the actor William Dafoe. 
Anna, I hate to be the one to break this to you. I really do. But his name isn't William Defoe. It's Willem Defoe. Close, but no cigar. But even then, it does sound like William, I guess. <clears throat> What about Stardust? I know I'm right, I know. Is Stardust just, you can use it to make scrolls and potions that you're never gonna use. I think you use it to make runes, which I actually will use. But I don't know about that, I might be wrong. Um, let's take back Clash. Requires a dagger. Let's take Bullhorns, Medusa Head, Heart of Steel. Chloroform. I guess that's it. Ooh, a blank summoning spell book. I might be able to do something with that. I don't know what. But I might be able to do something with it. I should really use that immunity to stunned necklace. But he gives XP, does he? I might have to kill him then. Exactly, the skeleton lady is too pushy. That's because she's evil. I don't really want to give him gold. On the flip side, I do want those books. You win this round. Keep some of your gold. He doesn't, you are asking. Oh, I don't think he does give XP. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Let's kill Exter. 66175. Does someone want to type that in chat? 66175. I want to verify and get an XP for these guys. I know I sort of verified it in the past, but not with green friendly guys. Six six one seven five. Someone do it. Go on. You know you wanna. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world. Thank you, William. <clears throat> Thank you, Dominic. What a fool, look at that. Don't go invisible. Oh, he's a double fool. He's just killed himself. I might actually let Gareth live for now. Nice, we are getting the XP. I might let Gareth live because he can identify gear. But we're so close to leveling. And I'm not sure where we're going to get XP other than killing Gareth. He still wouldn't give us enough to level, unless Gareth is worth, like, a metric ton of XP. Which he might be, to be fair. Oh, I got my Mind Maggots back. Nice. I 
And I got double the pixie dust. Nice. Blank summoning book can be used to create a skill book. That's very interesting. I wonder if I can use that to make a tier 3 summoning skill. I'm not sure what tier 3 summoning skills there are. But I wonder if I can use that to make one. I'm not sure where I'd find the recipes for that. <clears throat> Maybe I have the recipes. I've been picking up so many recipes. No. I can make Erratic Wisp. I don't think it's very good, but let's make one. <clears throat> yeah, it's not very good. Oh, you need a scroll. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. All we've got left is the big fight down there and the dragon. <clears throat> Let's go see if Buddy's worth XP. Baddies? Buddy. The God Woken aren't worth XP. That's why I'm debating letting them live. If I let them live, they might show up in later chapters with better gear. <clears throat> Although I don't know how they'd be getting off this island. Hey, buddy. I was going to let you live, you know. It's all William's fault. No XP. Let's send him to a watery grave. Not a very deep one, but it counts. Right. <clears throat> I actually don't think there's any more XP we can get apart from killing the dragon or killing Alexander and co. Oh, the dog's the dog's wife is dead. <clears throat> Plus, I don't think they were married. I think they were just friends. Yeah, we've got no Magisters left. No Magisters left. No Monsters left. Do we? There's one thing we haven't done. Did I kill the dragon? Not yet. I'm debating whether to kill the dragon, the then kill Alexander, or kill Alexander and then kill the dragon. I'm not sure which order to do it in. <clears throat> the one thing we haven't done... ...is the one thing I've been putting off to do. God damn it. This is the one thing I've been putting off doing.
Also, I'm debating utilizing these to kill that big worm that appears. It's actually going to be quite risky fighting Alexander because of that giant worm. We really clutched the victory from the jaws of defeat last time. You'd think it'd be easier this time because we're expecting the giant worm to appear, but... I was kind of hoping I'd get XP for coming here. <clears throat> a severed head sits rotting on a stick. The last vestige of an ear juts from above its two prominent jaws. Yeah, I know you can a free the dragon, but you don't get nose. anything good for it. Its eyes open. It looks at you. When it speaks, it struggles to move its impaled jaw. I don't know who you are, but hear this. Don't Owen the chest. Don't Owen the chest. Whatever you do, don't Owen the chest. Can I help you, Severed Head? Hell? Hell? Just don't Owen the chest. That'll help. Also, you look like a good sort. Could you scratch our eyes? The God damn it. undead head looks at you with puppy dog eyes. You're touched and revolted. Yeah, I'll scratch your nose. You lean across and scratch the dead head's nose. Come on, game, give me XP. If you're a cool game, you'll give me XP for that. Skin sloughs from the nose onto your finger. You shake it off. It won't come off. Pretending to pat the man's head, you wipe your finger in his hair. Thanks very much. That's a better. Much better. That doesn't mean you can open the chest. Same old story. Usual story. Hey, Darius, you only have to ask. Just don't go in the chest. The island was Rackus Rex's foundry. Stuff sure was. Rackus Rex. We were. Oh, no. Drink. We. The head closed. It's just telling us stuff we already know. Oh, I can't save the head. The head's eyes. You wouldn't kill uh, the head closed. Bloodied and sad, I said, Open the chest there. Go on. You know you want to. Open the chest. There's loot in it. Open the chest. Your friend didn't want the chest opened. Don't mind that, idiot. Open the chest. Okay. A sly look passes across his face. You won't regret it. Or to put it another way, you won't live to regret it. I bet I will. That didn't get me any XP, but we did get to see the cool explosion, so it's got that going for it. Right. <clears throat> I think we fight Alistair before the dragon. Because the dragon's level 9, and fighting Alistair will get us to level 9. I know that's not the best justification ever, but it's all I've got. And that means we kill Gareth, sadly. Which means we can't identify... ...whatever we get off the dragon or Alistair. But that's fine. That's totally fine. <clears throat> Tell me it's time. My sword's at the ready. Oh, it's time, all right, Gareth. It's time. I 
probably eat that head. Stardust, pixie dust, stardust, pixie dust. Okay, that's fine. Thanks, Gareth. I need a few Besides. moments to prepare. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> Force of habit. I really hope we get more XP for Gareth and that it's enough to level us. <clears throat> Otherwise we're going to be ridiculously close to leveling. Like obscenely close. Bad things happen when you open the chest. Glory <clears throat> is mine. Did I get rid of adrenaline? I did. Sad times. Bleed for me. Remember when you used to be cool, Gareth? No, me neither. Poor bastard. So close. Hey! It's terrible, but it's unique. It can have a rune put in it. That's pretty neat. Right. If I could fight one of Alistair's cronies, not Alistair, Alistair's from Dragon Age. If I could fight one of Alexander's cronies on their own, I'd be very happy. Let's try our little trick. We just need to kill one of them. I do have a slight concern. And that concern is... 
when it summons the worm, it's going to summon it next to me. That's what it did last time. That's what it did last time. And if it summons the worm next to me, it's not going to go well for us. Yeah, I can't justify it. Um, I'm actually a bit worried about this fight. A little bit worried about it. <clears throat> Let's increase our odds as far as they can possibly be. XP for killing shriekers. I guess it doesn't matter. I think I sold my last purging wand. Oh, I know where I can get XP! I know where I can get XP. It's only a little bit risky. I never equipped my new shield. <clears throat> do 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 do. cursed also let's get adrenaline back and we can pick one more ability <sighs> did i discover the hidden tower yeah i think i did if it's the one i'm thinking of Have I got a source wand, a purging wand? Yes, and it's still got uses. Okay, good. This guy better not one-shot me. We should win initiative. Odd. My helmet seemed to stir just now. I've been putting points into wits every single level. And we've got that uh, shield that gives us plus four initiative. Be very surprised if this guy wins on initiative. I could have sworn my helmet just jolted when I consumed source just now. <clears throat> it's tempting. But I want to see where his acorn story goes. As the source flows into your hell's teeth, but not as sweet hey, as the source you fed me. That rich ambrosia. You missed the death of Sloane. No, absolutely not. Sorry, kettle grinder. Not today. Nice. You know, I could technically teleport the dragon up here, 
and kill it using that, I think. It'd be a hell of a journey, would it? Wouldn't be that far a journey. I could do it. Um... Right, for this level I think we take... Wits... <clears throat> and... Memory. I know we've not really got any abilities to put into memory yet. But once we get off the island... Uh, we'll be getting a bunch of new abilities, I think. So, we should probably invest in memory early on. Failing that, <clears throat> we could put it into constitution or strength. Let's just get memory. And then, oh, I guess we are going to need memory because I'm going to pick a new ability here. I should look at the vendors now. I just killed them all. I literally just killed them all. There's not a single bender left. I had to kill them all to level up. <clears throat> it was a catch-22. I think I put this into Polly. I do kind of want Aerithurge. Oh, I want Aerithurge, actually. I really want Aerithurge. <clears throat> Why do I want Aerithurge? Because... Where's my Aerithurge books? Where's my goddamn teleport book? Did I already learn it? Where's my goddamn teleport book? No, yeah, I'm getting it from the gloves. I don't have a teleport book. I don't have a teleport book. Fortunately, it's not as big an issue as you'd think. I do have evasion, that's true. <clears throat> Let's go get teleport. In fact, there is one vendor alive. The guy I'm about to go get teleport off.
Hey, friendo. I know, I know. Now, teleport me down to the ledge behind me near the tree stump. I'll bring you right after. Oh, we're almost free. Can you taste the ale? Oh, the scent of home. <clears throat> no, there's no nether swap. It's a pretty good deal, though. Look, he loves me now, right? He literally thinks I'm the bee's knees. He thinks I'm the best thing since sliced bread. He thinks I'm totally amazing. Now, teleport me down to the ledge behind me near the tree stump. I'll bring you right after. But you know what? He's still going to betray me. He's still going to betray me. Granted, I've left him standing here for days, but that's no excuse. Right. <clears throat> Now that we've got that, we can equip it. We can't equip it because I'm wearing those gloves. We can remove the gloves. We can equip it. It decided to equip it without me saying I wanted to, but fair enough. I did want it, so <clears throat> it was on to something. And then we can use these gloves that give us plus two initiative. Nice. So our initiative is now da, 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 37. That's pretty damn good, I think. I'll be back for you, Gowan. <clears throat> right. Oh, I was going to see what this rat had to say. I think the game expects him to die, so it doesn't actually let you talk to him once uh, he's gone down there. You talk to this rat and it's supposed to YOLO down there and get killed by the Shriekers. But it didn't. Run, little rat, run! God damn it. Every little helps. Right. <clears throat> this is going to be really sketchy. We can't even summon the black cat. We can summon bloated corpses, I guess, but... It's not the same, is it? I'm not sure what the best strategy is here. We'll have to... Probably kind of what we did last time. I mean, there's no denying it worked last time. I think we start the fight and we try and keep the fight going until the worm appears and then we run. 
We straight up just run. have to be here. <sighs> it goes nothing. Isn't that interesting? Huh? Huh? This might backfire spectacularly. I guess we'll see. Alexander, I didn't really want you in this fight. <clears throat> but you can't get up here, so that's fine. Adrenaline's so nice. It lets you do like the Uber start. Don't do that. I guess that's fine. Therein lies what I was worried about. Good job I stored up so many action points. <clears throat> Good luck, Alistair. <clears throat> it's all yours.
My money's on the other guy. I believe in you, Alistair. Kind of. Hey, he's actually having a pretty good time of it. Ah, the system works. For the record, I'm pretty proud of this. Alistair's killing it. Literally. See, normally it'd teleport to me, right? But because I'm not in combat, it doesn't know what to do. So it's just wasting its turns. <clears throat> This might actually be the perfect crime. As long as I get the XP, which I should do. I mean, he really takes his time, there's no denying that. Three, two, seven, five. Three, two, seven, five. No. Pretty sure that thing's worth loads of XP. I guess I had to have some skin in the game, like a summon. Whatever. There's plenty of XP to go around. Yeah, it is kind of unacceptable, but... I'm not sure how much XP it was worth. <clears throat> Pretty sure it was a lot. Right. 
Alistair and his goons, huh? Stay ready. Hmm. Alistair and his goons. <laughs> I know that guy can teleport. And I think that guy can teleport. One of them can definitely teleport. <clears throat> I think it's that guy. And then there's a rogue somewhere. I think the rogue is stealth currently. Oh, it didn't put me into combat. Uh, okay. Some would consider this kind of dickish. Good job, Alexander. You slowed yourself. Ah, oh, what a jerk! He outplayed me. Yeah. He sure did never swap me. good. Ah, uh, he got me double good. Triple good. If I do anything other than these two abilities, it puts me in combat. As long as I only do that. We're kushti. It's a little bit unfair. I'll be the first to admit that. Exactly the same thing's gonna happen, isn't it? Oh, the rogue showed his face. Ooh, the clutch. Wait, what? Oh, we use an ability that goes through armor. Sly Devil.
course, if you think that's cheap... Wait until you see the follow-up. Shame I can't heal him. But it is what it is. Oh, never mind. Out of sight. Uh -oh. Not entirely sure why this guy gets two turns, but okay. It brought me in. It brought me in. Okay. Alexander. Go away. Yeah, this will do. Perfect crime. Oh, 
Come on, Alistair, you dumbass. No, don't wait. You turd. Alexander. Sure wish I could somehow do sixty nine damage to him this turn. I think I can. But you know what I can do? Oh yeah, I could have, but um, I wouldn't have had the extra turn, so what I meant was do enough damage and be able to chicken him. <clears throat> but it's all worked out in the end. Oh, he only gets chicken for one turn, that's right. Pretty sure he's dead. He's guaranteed dead. Nice! I can't ID any of that stuff, but that's fine. So all we've got left now is the dragon. Pretty sure she isn't a shopkeeper. Look, I just want get out of the way, Geist. Well, 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 quite the messy. I'm Malady. She steps forward. Ugh, undead and God woken. <laughs> Do you're a god woken after all? The reason somehow. <laughs> well, I managed to. She peered. Tell me. Her eye. <clears throat> Go on there. Uh, she takes you by the shoulders and gestures. Perfect. You really. I'm. Come then, we set sail. Your destiny awaits. Except you'll have to ask Melody after you, darling. Wait. <sighs> <clears throat> Right. The dragon is the only thing left on the island. A 
apart from uh, Gowen. Sadly, I don't think Gowen can identify stuff. But let's go verify that. <clears throat> if he can identify stuff, that's pretty good. But I don't think he can. Which means all we've got left to do <clears throat> is kill the dragon. Which is risky. I've not even fought him yet. But I'm gonna send in the, um... I'm gonna send in the summon to do a test fight against him and see how tough he is. Now, teleport me oh, he can identify! Yes! Truck. I'll bring you right after. Oh, we're almost free. Can you taste the ale? Oh, the scent of home. You douchebag. He's not skilled enough. He's not skilled enough. What a jerk. Gowen. I'll send you home soon enough. Right. This is where the run probably dies. Before we do that, though, let's look for secrets. Secrets? Maybe the dragon can identify stuff. Surely there's at least one secret down here. No? Okay, that's fine. Um... Come on, demon, I believe in you. The dragon rakes the earth with icy wounds. Quakes from the impact knock you back. Okay. Let's go talk to him. My, my thanks. Don't worry about it, dragon. The freed dragon looks... My gratitude for your efforts, friend. But of course, that must be why you stand... Ah, my soul is bound to Julius. The witch Rudecker. I was in love with her once. 
for the smallest slight, really a trifle, she wielded a purging wand against me, enslaving me. Yeah, it's a real shame. Right. <clears throat> Trial run. Where is he? Oh, there. He is. No, where is he? Oh, there he is. This isn't cool. Okay. I believe. So he hits hard. And he regens his magic armor. <clears throat> Time for round two. Could be a real asshole about it, probably. Not from there, but... If there was another vantage point... Like... <clears throat> Here, maybe? I don't know. Maybe up here. I could maybe restore him. Something worth thinking about. <clears throat> Freezes on every attack. Hmm. I don't think we're winning this fight legitimately. But 
I guess it depends on your definition of legitimate. demon. Okay, look, <clears throat> this might work. I'll be the first to admit it's going to be a long process, but it might work. And isn't that all that really matters? The perfect prime? Even more perfect than when we got Alexander to kill that other guy, because we should get the XP for this, because we'll be in combat. gonna take a while technically once his armor's down I think we can chicken him but I don't know if I want to risk it probably not scared the bejesus out of me. Can I steal two turns off him? Oh, he ran back there. Awesome. Ranger, um, I would quite like to be in the fight when we, uh, when we finish it, just in case. Just in case, I would like to be in the fight.
Nice. <clears throat> Which means I can also test if I can chicken him. He's literally got one health. Yoo hoo! Nice! That's what you get, chicken! Look, I'm not proud of that victory. But it is a victory. Achievement unlocked. I Dragon Slayer. Long he roamed the earth. And now he's gone. Also 6,000 XP. Hey, that's a pretty good sword. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good. A medium frost rune. Supernova. And some stuff we can't identify. Right. Nice. All we've got left to do... Da -da 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 is two things. We need to go and do Gawain. <clears throat> but there is another thing we need to do. That's right. Another thing. Nothing too exciting. But it is technically something we have to do. I bet Malady kills Gawain. I can feel it in my bones. I'm going to save before this because I don't want to lose all my Resurrection Scrolls and Griff's overpriced Drudene just to test this guy out. <clears throat> I'm not willing. Look, over here. It isn't far. Now, come towards me. I'll teleport you down. I just need to see you clearly. Come close to the edges you can, friend. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now don't betray me, Gowan. Now, teleport me to that mossy rock across the gulch, just by the torch. You're almost there. Don't betray me. Let's go follow him. Oh, the Shrieker might kill him. I left a Shrieker alive. Where's my purging wand? Gowan? 
that is not where Gowan is. Where am I? I went to the wrong freaking beach. Gowan, old buddy, old pal. Who the hell is Grandal? I think it's a rat. Hey Gowan, where you going, man? Well, that's just lame. Isn't that lame? <clears throat> There's literally nothing here that could kill him. Taking back my druid, and I. Right. Last thing we need to do is <clears throat> pick up our death frog. This again. I sure hope I can fast travel while carrying death frog. This is kind of going to suck. Trust that blood. <sighs> right, and I'm pretty sure there's nothing left for us to do. Pretty sure. <clears throat> no secret loot we've missed. Secret loot we've missed, look at that. Wow, totally worth it. Really? The hidden chest right at the end after you beat Alexander has a poison arrow in it. And like 20 gold. Right. This again. I think we're good. Have we done everything? Have we done everything? I can't think of anything we've not done. How's our journal looking? 
free the dragon. Well, I kind of freed it. Find Sahila's people. Yeah. Talk to Malady. <clears throat> I guess killing the god woken, but I think I'm going to let them live. Right. Here goes. Let's go. Malady grabs the vessel with two hands and pushes it into the water. God woken. Salty water wets. Nice. Tired but victorious. Oh, tired but victorious. That sums me up pretty well. What's up? It is no. We should be able to ID our stuff here as well. Uh, where's the? There's the way down. So we're going to use one death fog barrel on the malady fight. Welcome aboard. Shame Gareth couldn't make it though. At least he died doing what he loved. What did he die doing? Saving a god woken. Moving on. As soon as we the ship's mute, we need to free her tongue. Don't bother. That's right. What we need is all the secret. Better now, if you could help, I'm sure. Yeah, I'll do my best. I could have just teleported these in there, couldn't I? No. I guess you unlock that later. Right. Keeping the tyrant set. <clears throat> Where's the hat of the tyrant? Sort by type. Still raises the question, where's the hat of the tyrant? Am I blind? Did I sell it? No, I think I sold it. I don't see it anyway. I'm gonna keep those gloves for posterity. No way did I sell the hat of the tyrant. No way. I guess I did. Keep that on me.
start my selection of source my collection of source scholars um i think that's all the stuff i want to put in there cool these books actually weigh quite a lot that's fine right let's get rid of some of these keys Keep Last Law's loot, gonna keep Irma's doll. Drop the sparkler. I'll keep Zake's talon. <clears throat> um I don't really care about most of this stuff. I think we'll keep everything else, except maybe the face ripper. Yeah. Nice. Right, let's go find that goon. Ooh. These fools. Not on my watch. Ifen ban mezzed. What are you doing here? You sly dog. I mean, you're probably going to die, but you sly dog. Could save him by chicken in it. <clears throat> Glory is mine. Yeah, I'll maybe save him. Oh, I've still got that wand equipped. Putting in work, Ifen. have to talk to all these guys and be like, what are you doing on my ship? Nice to meet another so-called Godwoken. An amused expression crinkles the crow's feet at Iffen's greying temples. His face looks a lot older than the bright green eyes gazing out. <clears throat> look, you don't look Godwoken. Says you. Yeah. He casts a long glance up and down your bedraggled form. Reckon I look about as god woken as you do. It's a fair point. <clears throat> but you're level one, and I'm level ten. No, level nine. So, uh, you know. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. What are you doing now we're out of Fort Joy? That's a good question. I'm gonna hunt down my old pack leader and find some answers. The lone wolves have been tasked with killing god woken. I'm god woken, and a lone wolf. That's a problem. 
Not really, man. Just kill yourself. Say, on the way there, I could use someone to watch my back. And it looks like you could use someone to watch yours. Want to team up? No, but tell me about the Lone Wolves. He shrugs, looking off to the side. Mercenaries. It's a job. My job. Good folks to have around in a crisis. Back away. Ethan. Do you want to join the fight? I should probably equip my real weapon. Believe in you, incarnate champion. Don't let me down. Okay, that was pretty sick. Stowed away on my ship. Beast, what's that you're wearing? Look, he's got an upgrade. This boat's a treasure. Dallas wouldn't know what to do with her. The burly dwarf is distracted by his own facial hair. He thrusts two fingers into it repeatedly until he extracts the final prize, an errant fly. He flicks it into the air, and it buzzes off, just in time for him to notice your presence. I wonder if they're wearing any plus summoning gear. Two heads are better than one, Papa used to say, and he had three, so he'd know, eh? <laughs> You're looking for a travelling partner? Well, just so happens my beard's available, as long as the rest of me comes too. Beast. Don't perpetuate stereotypes. <clears throat> You're better off by yourself. Eh, suit yourself then. He drags a comb through his beard. His face bears the scars of a hearty life, but his whiskers glisten as if glazed by the morning dew. Mm. <clears throat> Ten bottles of beer. <clears throat> Lucky find. Let's go down, down the hatch. Hey, you're here. Pretty nice boat, eh? We got an upgrade. There's got to be another way to get it going, but we can't find a way into Dallas's room. Maybe you can see something we can't. Afraid not. Hey, Lucy. Remember that time when you tried to kill me? A young woman shifts her weight between her feet as though swaying her hips to an imaginary beat. She rubs her forehead, her face tight with concern. Her eyes roll up to meet yours, their great black pupils greater and blacker than seem natural, expanding further as they take you in. 
She smiles, and the worry melts from her face. Hey, it's you. Well, 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 we meet again. They told me you'd mosey your way down here eventually. Um... Yeah, who does she mean by they? Malady, the Seekers. They said you and I had something in common. That we're... Well, we're... God woken? Is it true? You're like me. Look. <clears throat> That's my business. You know, I'm probably one of the only people in all the big old realm who understands what you're going through right now. It wouldn't kill you to open up. Unless you're a clam or something. Did you know that? Prying open a clam kills it. Poor thing. Anyway, you're Godwoken, I'm Godwoken. And if you're anything like me, you've got way too much going on at the moment and could use all the friends you can get. You know about my, uh, situation, right? Sure. You're crazy. Right, exactly. I thought it was, well, nothing. More of the same, a sprite, a spirit. But it's a lot more powerful than I imagined. Malady said I should have met one of the gods when I had my vision in the Hall of Echoes, but I didn't. I met it. Maybe it was one of the gods. Yeah, maybe she was hallucinating. I can tell the difference. It was there, alongside the gods, unlocking the same power in me that they unlocked in you. That's pretty cool, actually. I don't know what this thing is, but I'm going to get it the hell out of my head and make it sorry it ever came knocking. What's your deal? Um... I must return to an excavation site where I hope to find answers to ancient and arcane mysteries the likes of which she cannot conceive. It's news to me, but I guess that's our deal. I'm not even going to ask. You know, I never was much of a solo artist. Want to find out what comes next, you know, together? Nope. Sure, whatever suits you. Probably better for you in the end anyway. I'm not always myself. And sometimes not myself is a bit uh, unpredictable. Yeah, me too. Anyway, see you around. You sure will. <clears throat> well, Constance is the crazy lady. Sibyl, she's the lady who wants to shank me. My, my. Look what the ship's cat dragged in. You were on that luckless lot of timber that met with one tentacle too many, weren't you? Yeah. Oh, but you've come a long way, just as I have. Oh yeah, you've come a huge way, level one. Rather boring sometimes, to travel by oneself. We could see where the road takes us together, if you like. Nope. By all means, think. I'm not going anywhere. Is that everyone? I guess it is. I spotted something. Ooh. <clears throat> you keep saying that. It won't save you. The seeker flexes. I owe you, Godwoken. <laughs> Without your help, I'd likely still be a prisoner around here. Not she nods her thanks and immediately winces, laying her hand on. Good luck getting anything out of either of it. All right then, just open the gate. Hope you find something useful. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. Hello, Igor. <laughs> Get away from him, sorcerer. That's the divine. Look, I'm going to kill you. All right. Don't harm him. I'll be watching. Okay. I'm not going to harm him. I'm just going to turn him into a chicken. <laughs> Look, I didn't hurt him. He'll be fine in two turns. Oh, he's fine anyway. Look at that. All right, Ranley. He made a mistake. I'm ready. Prepare yourself. 
Look, she doesn't help. Losi doesn't help. Only Ifan Ben Mezd helps. I don't know why. But he's like the only one who will actually help me in a fight. Didn't quite mean to do that. <clears throat> it's fine. Stand down, Magister. Stand down. Yeah. Stand down, or I'll eat this mackerel. Oh, I can't turn her into a chicken. Ooh. Glory is mine. Yeah, whatever. I'm ready. Thanks for the help, Constance. The seekers removed one of you must be starved for company to linger around here, friends. Don't worry. As soon as she changes her tune, you'll know about it. She's dead. She ain't changing no tune. Can you chicken a corpse? No. Alright, Alistair. <clears throat> Sorry about this. I did kind of have it coming though, and I need that gem. Right, there should be something else. I need the passcode. Speak friend and enter. Shut your mouth. I'm ready. I don't appreciate what she's implying. Passcode. I can't remember where we get it. <clears throat> it might be on one of these corpses. Totally not going to be on one of these corpses, is it? Oh, it is. Cool. Hey, Maeve. Don't go any further, Godwoken. We need you alive. Yes, you do. Have you got any plus summoning gear? No. But I'll take what you've got. Too expensive.
I shouldn't be doing this. It's probably fine though. Um, enjoy. My seeker brethren, show us the path to salvation. Wait, Maeve, I made a huge mistake. Tercindelius, hear my prayer. Show us the way forward. Deliver us from peril. Damn it, Maeve. Should have been about. Ugh. Should have probably made him be a fire one. Oh no, we're fine. Really, game? Ah, yes, my path is blocked. Really? Is that what we've come to? We've got the passcode, we've got the other thing, the gem. Let's get this boat moving. Who was that? I knew there was another one. The Red Prince. He's decked himself out as well. Look at that. Look who we have here. You were on the ship as well, weren't you? The one that sank. I wouldn't have bet tuppence on your survival, yet here you are. Mayhem playthrough. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I killed everyone on Fort Joy, so... I guess so. It is quite a tale, I assure you. And the upshot of it all is that I've accomplished a goal on this horrid isle that came quite unforeseen. Tell me about it, Red Prince. But of course. First you must know that I'm a prince. The Red Prince. I'll give you a moment to let that sink in. You have no doubt heard the tales of certain setbacks that befell me. Setbacks that forced me to leave the ancient empire. My empire. Sorry, Red Prince, but I ain't heard shit. It was then, forced as I was to wander the wilds, that a voice first began to reach me in my dreams. But the voice spoke from too great a distance, too faintly to be understood. Yet I had to understand. Somehow I knew this to be of vital importance. 
Look, is there a point to this? The point is that, unlike your attention span, <coughs> I did not give up until I found what I was looking for. I searched this island for a dreamer, one of the mystics of my kind that can travel the dream world at will, as if it were another realm just as real as our own. Oh, I know the guy. I killed him. And so I met with Bahara in the sanctuary of Amadi. I killed her as well. We raced through dream wastes, beset by nightmares, until we reached the voice. It turns out it was that of Brahmos the Wanderer, the greatest and most elusive dreamer of them all. He desires that I should meet him somewhere on Reaper's coast. And meet him I shall. That is where my journey takes me next. Okay, Brahmos the Wanderer is on the hit list. We're supposed to be uh, screwing with these other Godwoken as much as we can. I mean, we could kill them, but where's the fun in that? <clears throat> right. This guy should be able to identify our stuff. I hope. The door seems like any door, at least at first. Then you know the wood grows. The face vanishes. The anguished face appears once more. A shudder of pl I am so Fortitude. Speak. Yes. Yoink. Just one more moment. Tarquin, you can identify stuff. Awesome. Hopefully we got some plus summoning gear. I don't hold out much hope, but... That's not bad, but I like Lucky Charm. But it's really not bad. Trash. Trash. <clears throat> Can't wait for arcs covered in death fog. I don't know this game. Um... Trash. I've only made it off the tutorial island twice. This is our third time. Trash. Trash. It's all trash. It's really depressing. Oh, I was going to use that weapon. Should probably equip it. <clears throat> Tarquin, do you have anything good? <clears throat> bone cage is pretty nice. Raise bone widow. Tarquin, I'll take it. Do you want a bunch of my trash? Actually, I was going to keep that. Maybe. I do like the plus to sneaking. I don't really care about the rest of it. I should equip it when I'm selling stuff. But, uh... <clears throat> We're not exactly poor. I'm keeping that just for the immunity to stunned, but realistically I'm never equipping it, so if we're gonna get stunned then uh, by the time we realize we need it it's gonna be too late. I'm selling that. Right, does he have anything good? I'd love a 
shield with plus summoning. I'd love anything with plus summoning on it, honestly. <clears throat> I've not found a single decent thing. Most of the plus summoning stuff we find is finesse or intelligence based. Which is really not cool. Oh, I want skin graft. <clears throat> I know how to get death fog barrels from the beginning. Oh, yes. Break down the door and then run like hell. <clears throat> we need one of those death fog barrels to survive this next fight. Living on the edge might be really good. If you combine it with, um, what's it called? <clears throat> uh, supercharge. Yeah, that's fine. Sell them all the rest of our junk as well. Not that we've got much of it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna have to give up some of my hard earned gold. Like a hundred of it. I'm not happy about that. It's fine though. We'll get it back one day. Nice. <clears throat> he clicks together. Anon. Ah, uh, beggars can't be choosers. I, I see no cause for alarm. I'm not some uneducated armor. Dallas has been keeping me prisoner here. But Dallas, <laughs> she kept me here to do her. Oh, the extent. She used some form of. Well. So why don't you tell me all about my value? I suspect I ought to continue what I'm doing. Oh, he clicks the that damn contraption that she used. No, his face. Up. But come now, quite sure. I'm afraid I cannot. He takes the copper. Perhaps my memory will come back with time. I'm doing my utmost to be civil to you, under rather trying circumstances. Why must you push me like this? I'm more than a sum of my parts, friend, indeed. But I fear you might have come to the wrong calculation about me. How about you just let this matter rest? I will let it rest. He takes your hand and call me Tarquin, and consider me at your service. Um, and you thought Rivalon was flat. And you thought Rivalon was flat. This looks like a teleported pyramid. It could certainly come in handy. Yeah, it could come in handy in getting us killed. Oh, toy wooden block. Are you serious? This is written in ancient lizard script. I've spotted something. Right, if we go down there, we have to fight two geists. Which might be fine. I'm not hugely <coughs> willing to do it right now. I don't think we need the teleport block yet. I guess we could go down there invisible. Sod it. Um... Hey guys, just grabbing these. Don't mind me. They're not geists. Fine. Right. 
I've never found the key for that thing. I think it might be down there. Maybe one of those guys has it. <clears throat> so we can get the ship moving now. Let's grab a death fog barrel. And I think we're good to go. I hate this next fight. I really hate it. <clears throat> but I do think we're good to go. Maybe. Before you is a towering figurehead carved in the likeness of the deck beneath you groans and trembles. Nice. Like the ship itself is awaking from a slumber. A deep sigh emerges, unmistakably the sound of a living being. You... You are not you, Sanders, of course. The ship's awake. Good. Is she ready to sail? Please don't. It might be ready to sail. Right. Let's take uncanny evasion. Take first aid. Is there anything here I don't care about? Alas. Let's take. I don't know. Um... I don't think there's anything that's actually going to help us in this fight. <clears throat> Let's just take... I don't know. Armor of Frost. Oh, we can't. Whatever. Let's take Bless. Right. Actually, did I read any of those books? Raise Bone Widow. Let's take that. Whew. Right. Might be good. Maybe. <clears throat> Question is, what do we do with the death fog? Wait. I want fortify as well. That's what I'd get rid of to take fortify. Mm. 
nothing, I guess. Can't think of anything I'd get rid of. Um, that's fine. It's fine. Right. We'll live it out, Fortify. Let's go. Killed the divine's mewling spawn, have you? I don't blame you. Yeah, killed him twice. But we've got to move then. The order will be upon us soon. Mm hmm. A slow to, to driftwood then. Yep. It must set forward. <clears throat> I respect your metal, Slytherins. You steal my ship. Kill my... We are... Yes, sir. I swear. Very well. Goodbye. This is my ship. I won't see it taken from under my feet. Mm -hmm. You act! Oh, for the love of the boy. Listen up. Show us what God woken. I'll take... He's a real bastard. Stop that elf! Her daughter must be silent. Right. Where do I put the death fog? I think here. Take out this group. Honestly, dumping it on Malady's head works pretty well. not going to hit him. I had real issues with it last time when I put it there and it only went on this side. That's probably fine. Can't go invisible this turn. <clears throat> Look, how scummy is that? The answer is very. Very scummy. <clears throat> what do you reckon happens if I teleport Dallas into the death fog? I think if I stepped slightly forward, I could do it. Of course, it's much less risky to just uh, <clears throat> teleport this guy in. I don't really want Dallas down here fighting. Let's not risk it. Oh, 
that's fine. Nice. Um, Perfectish crime. I kind of want to go up there now. Go invisible. Also, did I not equip fortify? Boo. This guy's wasted being up here. <clears throat> He's definitely wasted being up here. I do really want to try teleporting them down there. Ah, oh, whatever. Go and stand there. Move. 
There's no water or anything here. I guess there is a little, but it's inside the cloud. Don't know if he's going to be able to hit him from there. there a little longer, huh? <clears throat> wow, I really wasted this champion. I really want to teleport one of them into the death fog. I really, really want to. It's just risky. <clears throat> you know what? You either die a hero or live long enough <clears throat> to see yourself teleporting people into death fog. Cloaked figure, you're the more annoying of the two. You actually do stuff. Are you undead? Yes. Are you undead? Never mind. Let's not teleport either of them into the death fog. Let's teleport. Oh, he's fortified. Ah, oh, you jerk. Teleport the chicken into the death fog. It's a real waste. Sad thing is, I could have probably got rid of his, uh, fortify, right? by beating the shit out of him. No, I guess he's still fortified. Okay. We did it! Nice! With the help of the half demon Malady. Yes, the help of Malady. Totally. The air here has a familiar smell, like the place you grew up. A faint. Level 10! Um. <clears throat> I think I just go persuasion again. Then. Probably polymorph. I really want to get skin graft. So let's work our way towards it. It does get as an extra attribute point as well. Let's go wits. Then wits again
then memory. So I've got a lot more abilities now that I want to put on. Um, I want fortify. I want... Mend metal. And I want... Okay, maybe there's only two that I want. I guess favorable, favorable wins pretty good. I'll take that. Let's learn any of these skills we don't have. I know it's overkill. But that's fine. Did I equip that sword? No. Hey, we finally know restoration. It's been a long time coming. any pyro, but that's fine. Dee 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 dee. <clears throat> that tidies things up a bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. <clears throat> is that right. A tree. What's hanging from it? It is a tree. The gods are hanging from it. Let's go get the secret loot. Not that it's worth it. But we'll take it. Hey, they're in a different order. That's pretty cool. It's not that cool, but it is pretty cool. Your whispered blessings. She jolts. My child, blessings be that you for four. Please, we may. Uh she paused. <gasps> this perfect. No, I do not. My love, these miss. No, we uh -huh. as I have. I saw they are his servants, and that is his. Is it not? You have. You must. One solution. The divine. You must ascend to divinity. Ascent. She starts. No, Fla white hot. We will. What's happened here? Where is everyone? They're all downstairs, Fane. They're all downstairs. <clears throat> hey! Hey! People are going to perish. People are 
going to die and I can't stop it. True. She'll do it now. She'll never stop. She'll never stop. Sabeel's spirit watches your approach like a spectator on a beach watches the waves roll in with a soothing inevitability. There we have it, don't we dare. The final die has been cast and it's come up wanting. Where are you going to go from here, Sabeel? I do not know what awaits. I do not see where the dark paths lead. Forsake me now. Go hence and give chase to your mortal desires. From death... Let me be death. Okay. Hey, Red Prince. Remember you were going to go and meet that dreamer guy? The Red Prince's spirit stands bewildered, his spectral eyes beleaguered by disbelief. Defeat? I have been defeated. Impossible. Impossible. I mean... I don't know why you couldn't just do what I did. But you have been defeated. No. Such is but a different truth. Even here I hear the voices of destiny whisper. I will have my empire yet. I will have my empire yet. Of course you will, buddy. Of course you will. I mean... You know... Definitely not about to consume your spirit. If an spirit stares at you, seemingly through you, there is neither affection nor blame in his expression. If an, you were the only guy who helped me. I mean, he didn't help, but he did his best. He gives no sign of seeing you. Ifan's eyes flicker rapidly from side to side, as if trying to take in an expansive sight. He whispers, Gleku Duma, Gleku Duma, over and over, and suddenly you seem to hear the chattering of thousands of elven voices in the distance. Then, before your eyes, his spirit dissolves into the sound, his own voice joining the cacophony that you can hear, that you could hear, for now no sound remains. All is calm. Rest in peace, Ifan. I still hear it. It's still there. <clears throat> It'll never leave me alone. It'll never leave me alone. She clenches her ghostly fists and sets her jaw. Find it. Destroy it. Make it leave me be. Um, I would do if you gave me a quest. You better believe I'd do it. But you haven't given me a quest, so... I still hear it. She clenched... Find it. Sad to say, it's not gonna happen. Right. <clears throat> oh, it's a shame all those guys died. I guess she didn't consider them worthy Where to be have saved. You been? I can't keep this up much longer. When Seeker's dead, <coughs> Alexander missing, God woken passengers deceased. Yes, missing. And unless you want to die too, we need to go now. Deal. Brace yourself a <gasps> lot. They just throw XP at you here. It's really nice. Deceased, 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 deceased. Solid ground material as you look. <coughs> Melody explodes. <sighs> Let's not do that again anytime soon. Mm. Oh, don't. I managed all the funny thing that she raises. I do hope you learn something useful on our little field. In one next, she runs her. So, she inspected. Did they mention how you. Mm. Well, luckily, we already know. I may not. You need to go see the Meister. Oh, she's giving your. You're at the beginning now. I must be going. And so must you. Shopping. Why are fa before you go? And in the. Dee 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 dee. Nice. Oh, child. Hello again. That and I think it's time to start repaying the favors. Can you get what me? Snuff you need, <clears throat> maybe. Mar always said I was a great.
great runner. I don't know, man. Get me a high quality shadow essence. Sure thing. I'll stop. <coughs> Hey, Tarquin. I hadn't realized I was in such illustrious company when we met before. Most yes, I am pretty illustrious. Hey, summon Fire Slug. <clears throat> Maybe I do want Pyromancy. I don't think he got new gear. That's fine. <clears throat> Why it was your ally that you're uh, a come now. and some without, I would imagine. We all have most people are too sentimental to it. Marvelous. Marvelous. Damn it, it's no well, it's too late. At least you the they I the night together, yeah, but it's still the squad. If Thank you. A pointless recipe. <clears throat> right. We're finally back here. Finally. Well, I think according to the game, we're still on the island. That's fine, though. Mordus's excavation site? What the hell is that? I guess, no, this is where we want to be. It's going to bring us down... I don't remember an excavation site. I'll need to check that out. Cool! <laughs> Took us a while to get back here. But we're not going to die to a stupid death this time. not gonna happen but that's for tomorrow it's midnight I'm gonna call it a day we're in a real strong position this time a real strong position but I would like one more level so that I can get a uh, that skin graft ability but as always, it's been a pleasure, and I'll catch you guys later. Adios.